transit activated corridors is what we've been working on in Perth and in other cities across Australia, also around the world, because there's a new movement to bring transit into main roads to activate them and make them more attractive for urban development. So we're starting to think that they should be called 21st century boulevards because the boulevard is what this is all about. And we think that that historic idea is now working its way through in how we reinvent, re-urbanise, regenerate our main roads with trackless trams and the activated urban development around them. The French started building boulevards from the 17th century to help regenerate their cities. You can imagine the old medieval city, just tiny little houses all piled on top of each other like a fungus, you know, sort of growing organically, no big streets going through it. And you can imagine how dramatic it was to push a boulevard through the middle of it and how people wanted to live next to that and it lit up the city and you could get uh, lots of activity there, lots of eating and drinking and playing. And transport. Well, that idea has been reinvented every few decades in French cities. They keep building boulevards and they are not just for traffic certainly got cars on them, but they've got very good public transport. And on the side of them, they've got lots of walkability and trees and life with tables and chairs and lots of people milling around and lots of people living because that's the place to be. Now we need boulevards in our cities. They need to be helping us restore and generate more public transport but to restore the traffic into a more manageable framework and to bring new technology in. And the new technology, the 21st century element, will be where the stations are and precincts will be built around them. The notion of the urban village around those stations coming to life in a 21st century way using artificial intelligence and blockchain and all of these wonderful sensing devices that enable you to optimise the, the activity there and make it safe and attractive. These uh, 21st century opportunities can be built into that station precinct and make it part of the movement of the trackless tram and the micro mobility because they all need recharging. Recharge them there and they can become part of grid stabilising of the whole system. Transit activated corridors are marching forward. There's clear interest in state governments, in local governments, with developers, communities, economists and people who have to find the money to make these things happen, developers. So we, um, think we're onto something important here and we want to see them now put into practice. We want them delivered and I think the future is going to be quite rapidly providing this because we've already got money coming to get a business case on how to make it happen in a small part of Perth and we've got 20 other local governments who want to see how that could be spread into a network. We've got people looking at then at how can we do the detailed design. We've got 40 students who want to come and help us do this design work with communities, with developers who've got interesting ideas, with local governments. And how we can bring that to life uh, in a way that drives this project forward. And at the same time, hard numbers. Where does the engineering need to be done that might be a bit costly? Where can we do it with what we've got? 
All of that detail needs to be put together now and come up with something that the whole of the city can recognise as the next way forward. And I think we can do that in the next year or so and have something special as a 21st century boulevard beginning to form itself down corridors across our country. <laughs>